Welcome back to Money Bags. I am super excited about today because today I am sharing with you something that is very personal to me as usual. I quit 9 to 5 jobs entirely in 2016 when I discovered this about money. Money has been one instrument that made me feel like, you know, sort of a loser, you know, sort of not having a grasp of my life for the greater part of my youthful age. But when I understood this, it changed everything. If you want to know what it is, then keep watching. Give this video a thumbs up now. Okay, welcome back. Everywhere I go, money is topmost on everybody's mind. I quit my 9 to 5 job when I learned this about money. And what that is, is that money comes to you according to what you think you deserve in line with the problem you're able to solve for others. Let me take it again. I learned that money comes to you according to what you first think that you deserve in line with the solution or value that you provide for others. And that changed everything for me, fam. I was in a bubble all through my teenage twenties years and I only discovered this later in my mid thirties, right? And I have never looked back from then. Now I'm going to give you some collaterals, things that had to jump out at me at the realization of this that I had had to grapple with and I wanted to share with, with you. So look at this as the subtitles under this one thing I learned about money. So one, money will first try to be sure that you deserve it. <laughs> this is crazy, but it's true. So whether you're starting a business, a freelance skill, whatever it is, people are going to price you in a way that you start second guessing yourself most of the time. And for you to accumulate enough money to say, oh, I finally broke even, will be such a tough, a tug of war that you will only discover a breakthrough when you don't give up in the midst of the challenges. And that made me decide that success goes to only those who know that they deserve it. So they are not, they cannot be pushed around, they cannot be pushed out by the challenges and the intricacies of the business or the money venture itself. That gave me the idea that for you to make money, you must be resilient. I mean, I'm Nigerian, okay? So for me to be a Nigerian, I have a major level of resilience as a person. But now, making money is a different ball game. You need to take your resilience to a pro max level, if you know what I mean, to be able to make money. I learned that with this realization. The second thing that I learned about making money is that at the time you begin to say, I know my worth right now, I am going to put my pricing for my services at this price, at this price of my products, right? You are going to lose people. The people who have been used to having you get by with little or nothing, right? So it's very common in this part of the world where I am in Africa that people make zero to nothing profit from the things that they are selling and they just go by and by just keep doing it but when you come up from that you only want to come up from that massive mindset and say okay i need to put a value on this thing that i provide because i understand the solution or what it solves for people who buy them then you are going to lose people you're going to lose a lot of people who are going to say oh my gosh why is it so expensive what does she think she is what does he think he's selling why is why does he think he is different of course you need to give them a reason to see the difference between what you're providing and the next other, other people selling it so you're going to lose people you better make up your mind and be sure and know that there's nothing wrong with losing people who can't match you at your price level and that doesn't mean you you necessarily have to sell premium products or designer products for you to get there no when you understand your worth naturally you're going to price at the level where you can have you were able to break even within a you know a year or two or three without having to succumb to the buy a buy just doing it mindset that you have around you. Number three thing that that mindset taught me was that I'm also going to gain a lot more people. People who are going to say, "Oh my God! Finally, we have found somebody in this industry, in this niche, in this market that adds so much value to what it is that they are selling." 
so much value to this product so much more makes us feel better about spending our money right here and remember nobody's gonna pay you money if they don't feel like what they are buying from you is that they got much more value from the product or the service than the money they paid have that at the back of your mind so remember that the major mindset I learned about money is the fact that money comes to you according to what you think you deserve in line with solving people's problems the amount of problem you're solving for the people who are buying your product or your service right so under this the next thing that i learned about gaining much more people is that you're gonna attract exactly the people who have been looking to assess this product in a much better environment for instance in a much better package for instance or with better customer care right so that might just be the difference you're going to add to your product and, and and raise your price a little bit more they will not mind paying higher and will you will attract the people that be looking for that service it might just be a delivery service that you add to your to that product that every other person might be selling but your price is higher and people will be willing to pay you because you're serving convenience you're serving care you're serving much more than every other person is willing to give another thing that i learned or that this mindset helped um, help me generate to learn is that money depends on who you decide to serve. So okay, okay, okay. So I I used to have a I have a food business, right? When I got to the particular location where it was, everybody said, "Oh no, a certain kind of food is sold at this price." Okay, so but before then we had already gone to do a feasibility in the environment and met a lot of the millionaires there who say, Oh no, we don't eat around here, we have to drive out so so kilometers to be able to get good food, we don't eat all of these things that they pedal around here, and we thought, Oh, okay, so, so we need to serve these same people, right? These people who feel oh we can't be in our offices and our shops and um, get good food until we until we drive out or until we bring our own meals from home so we targeted them it was just a few people we randomly sampled but when we started it was not hard to begin to attract those same people and the good thing was that they always came with oh my gosh you guys have opened i love it i haven't been eating around this area so having you guys you guys are the only solution i have if i don't bring food from home that make me feel like i can still eat within my office environment and all that it was so good to hear so deciding who you will serve in even in a saturated market is key there are always people who want to serve the masses and that's very great because they are more in number and for you to be able to serve the masses your price you have to pay the low price game so your price has to be low um, your product also has to have value but if it doesn't have much it might, it might not have as much value as the person selling premium but it's okay because it has to be affordable and that's what the masses want okay so staying at that level let's say you can sell for instance a thousand copies or whatever or units of whatever you're selling in a day right you can also play the middle range you can play okay so let's say the masses level is one dollar or 500 naira you know per product so you're able to sell like a thousand because you're playing for the masses you can also play middle range where you're, you you decide to charge um, maybe five dollars that in this case maybe one thousand or one thousand five hundred naira and then you know you're gonna have people who are gonna say okay so why let's try and see why theirs is a bit more expensive so it could just be your environment your customer service a place to sit down a return policy you know just something extra that you're offering that made them feel like oh wow i think i like this you can also play in the premium markets the premium market where people have to shop from the comfort of their homes people have to use transfers people have to use their debit card or their credit card to buy people can order in place of other people people can get deliveries right at their homes whatever customized services you decide to provide and then you make sure that that product is the highest quality ever that you stock okay you're also going to find people at that level now at the middle level let's say you can sell up to 500 units in a day but at the premium level you say you sell five in a day but also your pricing is like maybe 15 dollars or in this case 5,000 naira for instance and you're still going to make sometimes much more money than the person who sold to a thousand people at maybe 500 naira or one dollar um so 
exactly who you need to serve is who you, your eyes are supposed to be focused on don't lose focus don't look at oh these people are taking more customer people are going there more people are doing this more focus on the value that you decide to bring to that market and you're gonna attract your kind another thing that this mindset taught me is that people will use you <sighs> when you're starting out in especially in the freelance market people are going to use you if, let's say you start out as an influencer People are going to tell you things like, oh, if you publicize us, we're going to introduce you to more brands. We're going to do more business with you. <laughs> People are going to use you, okay? Um, but the, um, the quicker you step up from by un and understand that it is what you deserve that you get and depending on the value that you give, nobody will use you anymore, right? So I learned that the hard way. People are going to use you, but you shouldn't allow them to use you. Even if you want to do free services make sure that it is strategic you are you are given this value for free because you want to get testimonials to be able to get higher paying clients you know what i mean very key another thing from this mindset that i did use was that money must not be from your own efforts money must not be from your own effort you mustn't be that you did the job you took the pictures yourself you edited the book yourself before you can make money you can find somebody who is an author who really who badly needs an editor and connect him or her to an editor without doing any job and get paid mm -hmm. so you can just know an editor who is fantastic or a group of editors get their fees so you negotiate with this person, get the fees, get the person to pay, then you pay these editors to do this job. Yes, there are some risk of, okay, what if the people don't deliver, forget all of that. Tie that in with agreements with editors and get your money in. You mustn't always be the one doing stuff before you can make money. Actually, that is a harder way to make money. I learned that also the hard way. A lot of people who are solopreneurs, who are online content creators who work alone that we do everything ourselves and you're not able to scale until you can sit down and do your videos and get away and somebody else is editing it another person is you know researching another person is uploading it that could just be in a way you should keep your eye in but i'm just saying make sure that you know that not only your effort should bring you money active income is not sustainable it is not what sustainable now also in Considering this, I also understood that nothing is ever cheap, nothing is expensive. What? Nothing is ever cheap, nothing is expensive. It all depends on perspective and the money in your hand, right? So always don't have that um, scarcity mindset around your product. If not, you're going to attract people who are going to make you feel bad about your price. Instead, have an abundance mindset and know that people will attach value to what they know the value of and be able to get it done. Now, also, another thing that struck me when I realized this about money is that there's nothing like competition in that sense. See, there is nothing like competition. No two businesses are alike. Yes, they might be selling the same kind of products, but because this person is not you, there's always a you touch to your own products. There's always a you touch to your business. It can be better than the other person or worse. So find your unique selling point and stick to that and make sure that you can make a good living from being a unique brand in the midst of all of those competitors and always try to collaborate rather than compete that makes you even a higher brand because it's more blessed to give than to receive okay also this taught me that i have to be street smart i don't always have to just be there reading things that see other people doing or reading things from the book i have to look at you know talk to real people know what their needs are so they can customize my product or service in a way that will hit home fast because i am street smart i'm listening on the street i'm listening to what people are saying that's how money comes guys the final thing that this mindset unveiled to me is that money is everywhere money is everywhere you know how bible says where two or three are gathered i am there god said i'm there right where two or three people are gathered there is a market there is money there is transaction there could be an exchange of money and see this changed my life 
this realization changed my life and I'm hoping it will change yours, right? It is the beautiful month of December and I hope that the money game is something that you're willing to play no matter what money have dealt you. Even if you have been, even if you have been hugely successful, made money from inheritance, from businesses, have a good business thriving, you know, have a good spouse or, or a rich spouse, you could also make sure that you can make more money preserving your future using the tips that we share on this channel. Did anything I say make sense to you? Let me know what it is in the comment section. Do you have any questions as usual? Let me know also in the comment section and let me answer them in a video like this. All right, until I come your way again, keep your eye on the money and on being who you are born to be. Remember, money goes to those who understand the value that they bring and who know that they deserve it. Okay, so let's talk later.